that Higley High just reeling from the death of a third student this year. Tonight, friends and family are remembering this boy. He's sophomore Riggs Gibbons, and he passed away Sunday night. ABC 15's Mary Ellen Resend is live in Gilbert, where friends are planning a very special event tonight. Mary Ellen, when does all this start, and what's going to happen tonight? Well, it's actually going to start with a family viewing, a family and friends viewing, the family planning a viewing at the Mormon Temple between 6 and 8 p.m. Shortly later, friends are going to come right out here to the family's neighborhood, and they're going to line the streets with luminaries leading right up to the family home. It is a way, they say, to guide them back home, but also to show how much Riggs Gibbons lit up a room. Uh, he made me laugh and he made me swear a lot. Brian Gibbons is the first to say his son Riggs knew how to love life to its fullest. He tested uh, my wife, Auburn, and I, our, uh, our patience. Yeah. But that boy fun is what the Riggs family and friends will miss most about him. The Higley High sophomore died suddenly Sunday night from septic shock. He was born with a syndrome called asplenia. And with it came a congenital heart defect. Day one, the doctors said that. Uh, we should be uh, counting our blessings every day that he's with us. Brian and wife Auburn did just that, loving the boy who loved to make others laugh. He was a leader, but often led younger brother Jackson into, well, a little mischief, like when they decided to roll sister Roxy in a stroller down the family driveway. It was usually his ideas, and we... I just followed him because he was the older brother. A brother whose smile lit up the room and brought a little part of heaven into the Gibbons family home. His personality was just the best you can ever have. And we always had a couple laughs with him. For Brian, he will miss being Rick's father most. The talks and going fishing with them, going to the sports games, a big ASU fan. He, 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 uh, <laughs> as a 15 year old, he probably wouldn't like me saying this, but even if they lost, he still shed tears. Now, Riggs was such a huge ASU fan. All over the neighborhood and school, students, family, friends are wearing their ASU gear today as a way to honor him. He had hoped to attend ASU and even dreamed of playing for Coach Todd Graham on the football team there. Now, of course, there is a, he was also almost, very much almost an Eagle Scout, and he was doing an Eagle Scout project where he was collecting toys and donations for both children's hospitals that are in town or in the valley. And so his friends are going to take over that and uh, they're going to continue that collection on February 21st. We're going to post all the information on our website for you. Stephanie? What an amazing boy and we'll be thinking of his family and friends tonight. Mary Ellen, thank you for sharing that. Meantime, friends are using the hashtag HeartStrong for Riggs to show their support and also to share their memories. They're also taking action to help the family. A GoFundMe page has been set up. If you'd like to donate, we've put a link on our website. Just go to ABC15.com and click on 15 links.